Clemens participating in the ESPN-sponsored Jocks to GIs Direct program, wrote the following to his Marine pen pal in Iraq. This is my last rodeo, as they say. 20 years in MLB, need to get to 300, and then some, hopefully another big shiny ring too. Well, that rings of retirement. The Yanks are shining out of the gate off to the best 13-game start in franchise history, hosting Toronto. Rocket not on the mound. Perfect. He's not on the hill. David Wells has won his last six starts. Hadn't given up a homer this season until he faced Carlos Delgado in the top of the fifth with two on. Delgado's fifth. Blue Jays up a five spot. Bottom nine. Here come the pinstripers. Down 7-5. Alfonso Soriano dancing solo. Leading off the inning with his fourth big fly. Kelvin Escobar shakes it off. And with runners on first and third, tells Jorge Posada to iron my shirt. Posada goes 0 for 5. Jays snap a six-game losing streak with the 7-6 win. The bullpen by committee hosting the Devil Rays. Foul ball stuck on the Fenway railing, and boy, is that symbolic. Apropos so much, can't quite get it. Bottom three, Boston down 3 nothing. Manny. First ever into the monster seats. Solo shot is second. He hit that one wicked head. Red Sox fans not giving up. Still trying to get that ball. <laughs> Using the fans by committee method to get the souvenir. 4-4 in the eighth. Jeremy Giambi batting 138 coming in. Off the wall. Shea Hillenbrand scores. Red Sox up 5-4. It's a four-run Boston eighth. New ownership. Very friendly at Fenway. They help out. The really good news, the bullpen pitched two and a third of scoreless relief. It can happen. Angels in Texas. Rangers trying to win three straight for the first time this season against Mike Sosha's team. Bottom seven, A-Rod. Off John Lackey. This after Carl Everett had just homered off Lackey. Back-to-back -back shots. A-Rod sixth here. It's 6-2 Texas. Bottom nine. Rangers down 9-6 Troy Percival. And Rodriguez gets his second 9-8 Angels. Texas has scored 45 of their 64 runs this season on home runs. That's 70%. Later, tying run on first, 2-1 count. Rookie Mark Deshera called strike two. A-Rod's in the dugout. He can't believe it. Troy Percival, you know, he's got a 97-mile-an-hour fastball, and he's not afraid to use it. Angels win 9-8. Percival holds on. Gets there is spontaneous stupidity, like 24-year-old Eric Dibus of Bolingbrook, Illinois, running on to U.S. Cellular Field Tuesday night. He's been charged with felony aggravated battery and misdemeanor criminal trespass. Then there's calculated stupidity, like marrying this guy. Dibus was at Tuesday's White Sox game with his fiance, who told one newspaper she lost track of Dibus when they entered the park with friends, and she didn't see him again until he was on the field attacking umpire Laz Diaz. No word on whether or not the wedding is still on. Jerry Springer, please pick up a white courtesy phone. Immediate steps taken by the White Sox for Wednesday's game against the Royals included checking ticket stubs more frequently and two extra people watching each foul line. Bottom four, Carlos Lee. Angel Baroa throw in the dirt. Frank Thomas comes in, hurts so good. White Sox up 2-1. Still on the fourth now. It's Joe Creedy up for the White Sox. Into the hole. Baroa, full extension. Throw gets by Mike Sweeney, though. Maglio Ordonez scores. Bags, it's 3-1 Chicago. Top eight now, Angel Baroa. Off the Maso Marte, his first major league home run, and it was a good one, tied it at three. They were loaded in the ninth. Tony Pena wants five infielders. It's a Frank Thomas shift, the big hurt shift. Thomas facing Jason Grimsley. To right, only two outfielders out there, so Michael Tucker got to run all the way over, fighting that wind. Tony Graffinino scores. White Sox win 4-3. Mike Sweeney said it was nice to play a baseball game in Chicago without a fan running on the field. Fans stayed in their seats this time. Oakland at Seattle. Tim Hudson in his first start this season against the M's gave up nothing earned over eight. Second start was repeat performance like everything was working and I mean everything. John Olerud gets picked after the fake to third. Hudson goes eight again, gives up one earned, strikes out seven and gets the Glovely play by Miguel Tejada, who gets Ichiro. Six INR to the six game losing streak. Athletics win it 4 1. Best record in baseball belongs to the Giants, who are hosting the Astros. San Francisco up five in the top of the fifth. Kurt Breeder's first pitch to Greg Biggio is one he wishes he had back. A three run shot. Biggio's fourth of the season. Still in the fifth, Jeff Kent against his former team. Another first pitch knock. A two run double to tie it. Kent went two for nine with three ribbies in his first series back at Candlestick Point. What did Barry Bonds do? 
He rested. What did Orlando Merced do? He knocked in what proved to be the winning run. Richard Hidalgo scores it. 8-5 final, just the second loss of the season for the Giants. Rob Nen is headed to the operating table. The Giants' closer will undergo shoulder surgery Friday. It'll be the same procedure Nen underwent in November. He's been rehabbing ever since. The team expects its career saves leader to be back this season. Dodgers hoping to end a four-game losing streak. Middle of a three-game visit from the Padres. Top four, Kazushi strikes out Xavier Nady. Paul Laduca gets Rondell White. That's a strike amount for him out. Ishii allowed only three hits and seven shutout innings. Struck out five. Bottom six, taking a bite out of crime. Fred McGriff off Brian Lawrence. Doubles to right. Score Sean Green. Brian Jordan coming home. Gary Barnett, watch out! Oh, Brian Jordan, he's a football player. Dodgers win. Three zip. She hitting 188. Off the middle of Jose Jimenez, Steve Finley, Tony Womack. Whoa, Max score. And we are tied at three. Next up, it's Luis Gonzalez with a chance to be the hero. Can you say game seven versus Mariano Rivera? Over the head of Preston Wilson, Craig Council wins it. 4-3 Diamondbacks, a three-run Arizona ninth. Diamondbacks get just their fourth win in 15 games this week. Philadelphia has won four straight. Florida has lost three straight. Pudge Rodriguez with just one hit in his last six games. Top five, two zip, deep sea fish. And with two outs, it's not deep, but it is a base hit for Irod, who went two for four, and he stole a base. In fact, he stole it right after that hit. And right before that hit by Juan Encarnacion, Pudge makes it three zip, but Juan will not make it to second. Ricky Lede is going to nail it. Inning over, but so was the game with Brad Penny pitching the way he did. Freezes Pat Burrow, one of his eight Ks over seven innings. Florida ends Philly's win streak. Sosa's first at bat, two on. Sammy has bat scratch fever. Home run number 502. It's Sammy's third home run and 10 at bats against Paul Wilson, who lasted less than four. Bottom seven, seven two Cubs, and that fever is spreading. Moises Alou going yard on John Reedling with two on. Alou's first of the year. The Cubs commit two errors, walk seven, and hit two, and they still win it 10 4.